Keep calm and pray the Psalms for Saturday of Reminiscere, the last day of the second week of Lent. Tomorrow, Sunday, the third Sunday in Lent, it has a name, Oculi, my eyes are ever on you. We will have divine service. The doors will be open. It's supposed to actually be the best day of the weekend, the meteorologists say. We'll start that day in church. Come and sing the Lord's praises, receive his gifts, so that you may know that in this crazy world, you're not forsaken, not forgotten. The gospel lesson itself is from the Gospel of Mark. It is where Jesus asked the question of the disciples, who do the people say that I am? And then the second question, who do you say that I am? The answer may surprise you. The answer for you is the Gospel. The answer is that Jesus says that you are his. So come, O baptized ones, come and sing the praises of the Lord tomorrow. 9 a.m., as I've said, the doors are open. Yes, of course, we follow the dictates of the magistrate for the COVID-19. Wear your mask, wash your hands, keep six foot distance. But don't despair. It'll be good to see you tomorrow. But for now, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 43. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deceitful and unjust man, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. And I will praise you with a lyre, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, in my, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. We shall have no other gods. You should not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, keep us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, you see that of ourselves we have no strength. By your mighty power defend us from all adversities that may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts that may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. You have a good night, and remember, it'd be great to see you in the morning, 9 a.m. Good night.